So, we will be starting with the first error and that is error of omission. Now, what is error of omission? As the name suggests that this error occurs when a transaction is not recorded at all or the transaction is completely omitted from the records. Either you forgot to record it in the book of original entry. If it is not recorded in the book of original entry, then of course, it is not recorded in the T accounts as well or in the ledgers and there is no debit or credit entry for that transaction. So, this is called your error of omission. Right. For instance, if this transaction is omitted from the records, what is that? Cash sales of 700 are not recorded in the accounts. Now, how do you correct this error? Hmm? If this transaction is not recorded in the books and you come to know after the preparation of your trial balance that you forgot to record this transaction, then, then you have to correct this error. So, how do we correct error of omissions? We just record the transactions as it should have been recorded in the first place. Right. So, in this transaction cash sales, cash should have been debited with 700 and sales should have been credited with 700. So, just record the transaction like it should have been recorded hmm? because it is not recorded at all because of error of omission. Now, let us take another example. For instance, rent paid by check. Rent is an expense and it is paid by check amounting to 200 is not recorded. Then how do you correct this error? We know that when all the expenses are paid, they are debited. So, rent will be debited with 200 and it is being paid through bank. So, bank will be credited with 200 as well. So, whenever there is error of omission in the exam, you just have to make the correcting entry by recording the transaction just like it should have been recorded in the first place. Let us take another example. For instance, received the business is receiving 350 cash from a debtor Amir. Right. So, whenever the business is receiving cash, it will increase, the asset will increase. So, cash will be debited with 350 and who is paying the cash? A debtor. So, Amir will be credited uh, to show a decrease in his account balance. So, this is how you will correct this error. Now, one thing that is almost every time tested with the errors question is that how the correction of error will affect your profit, right? After the correction of the error, how will it affect the profit? Sometimes you are asked to calculate the corrected profit or sometimes you are just required to tell whether it will increase the profit, decrease the profit or there will be no effect on the profit. Now, how do you solve such questions? First of all, you have to go to your correcting entries just like that we made over here in these three examples. You just go to your correcting entries. Then identify or mark all the entries that affect your income statement. What do I mean by affect? This means that all the accounts that are there that become part of your income statement. For instance, your sales account, sales returns account, purchases, your incomes, expenses, your opening inventory or closing inventory. If you have used these accounts, to correct to make the correcting entry then of course they will affect the profit because they become part of your income statement right and then you have to analyze that whether debiting that account or crediting will that account will increase your profit or will it decrease your profit now let's go back to our correcting entries and identify whether they will affect profit or not Right. So, in the first one, we did not record the cash sales. So, as we know that cash does not become part of income statement, it goes in the statement of financial position. So, it will not affect the profit, right, this account. However, we have credited our sales, right. So, sales we know that sales go in the income statement and whenever sales are credited, they increase that account, sales account is increased by crediting sales. And whenever sales are increased, profit will also increase, right? So, by making this correcting entry, by recording sales, which were not recorded before, your profit will increase, right? Let us take another example. In this, in this example, in this error, in this transaction, we forgot to rent, record the rent which was paid through check. Now, first of all, bank does not become part of your income statement? No. So, it will not affect the profit. However, rent is an expense when we know that all the expenses are shown in the income statement. By debiting an expense, by recording the payment of an expense, I am increasing my expense, right? And if the expense is being debited, if it is increasing, it will decrease my profit. Expenses have an indirect relation with the profit. If they are increased, your profit will decrease, right? And our last example was, we forgot to record the cash being received from the debtor. Right now, in this example, cash we know is an asset. 
it goes in the statement of financial position and your debtor is also an asset which also is shown in the statement of financial position so both of these accounts are shown in the statement of financial position they have nothing to do with the income statement so in this case by making this correcting entry there will be no effect on your profit of course it will affect the capital it will affect the individual accounts the cash account in the debtors account but the profit will not be affected because of this entry right i hope error of omission is clear to you now let's move to our next error which is error of reversal okay so what is error of reversal error of reversal occurs when the double entry is completely reversed as the name suggests it is completely reversed what do i mean by this this happens when the account that should have been debited is credited and vice versa the account that should have been credited is debited that is why it is called error of reversal the double entries are completely reversed hmm. let's understand this through an example for instance purchases on credit from imad right purchases on credit from imad imad is the supplier is debited in imad's account mm -hmm. and credited in the purchases account so originally how this transaction should have been recorded i should have debited my purchases account to show a, to show an increase in inventory and imad's account should have been credited however what have i done i have credited my purchases account with 600 because of uh, a purchase on credit and i have debited my supplier's account so this is what this is an error of reversal the double entries are completely reversed hmm? now when this happens you have to correct this error of course how do we correct this error so in order to correct an error of reversal you again have to make the double entries on the correct side of the account just like it should have been made in the first place hmm? so i will again debit my purchases account with imad's name of course so purchases will be debited and Imad's account will be credited, right? Purchases debit. Imad's account should have been credited. Now, with what values? With if I take the original value of the transaction six hundred on both the sides, so six hundred debit and purchases and six hundred credit in Imad's account, will this correct my error? Just think, will this correct my error? No, it will not, right? Why? Because it will cancel the transaction at all. The six hundred, the incorrect side, which I which I recorded on the incorrect side, will cancel the six hundred on the correct side, and this will show what that as no transaction occurred between Imad and the business. So this six hundred will cancel this six hundred in both the accounts. If I make the correcting entry with the uh, original value of the transaction, right? So that is why, in order to avoid this further error. i have to make the entry with the double amount that was of the original transaction 600 plus 600 that is 1200 hmm why am i doing this because first of all this uh, from this 1200 firstly 600 will be eliminated right which was the wrong entry and then the new 600 will be established to show the value of the original transaction that is purchases debit and your supplier credit Hmm? so when i will extract the balance of this account for instance of purchases account what amount will i take in my income statement the difference of course 1200 less 600 600 which was the original value of the transaction and similarly in the supplier's account as well the balance cd figure will be 600 on the debit side of course which will be the original value of the transaction so what will be the correcting entry your purchases will be debited with the double value of course 1200 and your supplier will be credited with the same figure right now let's see how will this affect the profit again we know that this supplier this will go in the statement of financial position so it won't affect the profit right however purchases will affect the profit right because purchases are there in the cost of sales section of the income statement now previously i recorded purchases on the credit side which would have understated the value of my account of my purchases account now by debiting purchases i am increasing my purchases right purchases is an expense it goes in the cost of sales section so it is an expense for the business when purchases are increased they are debited right 
and since I am increasing an expense, it will decrease my profit, right? By the same figure that is 1200 because previously I, I understated that uh, account by 600. So now by debiting them with 1200, I am cancelling the effect of the understatement previously because of the error and I am establishing the correcting entry as well. So purchases increase will decrease your profit. Right. Let's take another example. For instance, cash drawings of 450. Right. How do we record this? Drawings debit. Drawings are always debited. So cash drawings, drawings debit, and cash should have been credited. But what is done? These are debited in the cash account and credited in the drawings account. Sad. Right. So what have we done? We have debited cash 450 with because of drawings, and we have credited drawings. Hmm. Now, how do we correct this error? We know that we will we make the entry on the correct side now. So, drawings will be debited and cash will be credited. But again, with what values? With the double amount. So, 450 plus 450 would be now 900. Hmm. So, your correcting entry will be drawings will be debited but with 900 and cash will be credited with 900 as well. So that when you extract the balances of these accounts, you take the figure that was the original value of the transaction. Now, what is the effect of correcting this error on the profit? We know that drawings are not there in the income statement. They are part of the statement of financial position and cash is also being an asset is also recorded in the statement of financial position. Hmm? So does this mean that it will not affect the profit? Yes, there will be no effect on the profit. There will be effect on the drawings account of course, your cash account will be affected, your capital will also be affected but your profit will remain unaffected and this error will also not affect the balancing of your trial balance. Why? Because you have made the double entry, the double entry is complete, the accounts that you have used are also correct. However, there was a problem on the side of the account, right? So the trial balance totals will agree but will not with the correct value, it will however agree, right? So whenever you have to correct the error of reversal, you always make the double entry with the double amount of the original transaction, right? So this is how we correct the error of reversal. Hmm? So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one with another error.